Hello, race fans. The NASCAR Second Cup Series welcomes you back here at Viva Las Vegas for the Nevada Co Cobalt Tools 400. A lot of these drivers here are getting ready to roll that dice, and we're going to race for 27 exciting laps. And we have our very own Las Vegas native, our hometown hero, Nathan Duanis. He He's going to start in six. So we're going to have to ch check and see what he can do for his hometown. And we have three cars to the rear. Tim Feigl, Red Bell, and Jack Richards who blew up in final practice. They're going to have a lot of ground to make up as we're about to have those famous words in motorsports. Gentlemen, start your engine! Get our rhythm. Get ready to rock and roll today. It's a long race. There will be a lot of pit stops. So just go out there. Do what you gotta do. No mistakes. That's the big thing today. Just no mistakes. As the cars are now rolling off the field, here is your starting lineup for the Nevada Cobalt Tools 400. And since we're at Las Vegas, I got a very special starting lineup theme song. Can anyone guess what it is? If you saw that starting lineup, Aaron Williams, he's starting on the pole. Right beside him is the guy who won this race last season, Trent Dunham. Let's see if he can go for two in a row. And there's our hometown hero, Nathan Duena, starting six. Let's see what he can do as the pass card rolls off the track. The green flag is out at Viva Las Vegas. These guys are racing. 27 laps. Aaron Williams, he's off to a pretty good start. Here comes the Geese Squad Dodge Charger right behind him of Zohar Mana. And here comes the Combos 38 of Ralph Green. And oh man, he tried to look inside for the lead, but but Aaron Williams, he blocked it. Oh, oh yeah, and cars, they're, they're gonna hit hit the wild if they venture up there too far as Aaron Williams will lead the first lap we're still going green here comes Steven Gonzalez in the 55 but he's gonna have some company of public enemy number one Jared Wakefield in the eight and oh man these guys are racing real hard back here as you now go to the spectators camera Aaron Williams has a good size lead on the pack as you see them now coming out of turn four and oh man they're just scrambling back there Ralph Green trying to do whatever he can to catch that 48 car. Steven Gonzalez is clinched third. Jared Wayfield's in fourth. And that Budweiser number eight. And oh man, Zohar Mana, he's way out. Oh man, he's way up the track. And uh oh, we got a car scrape up the wall. And it was Brian LaFleur. Brian LaFleur of Twin X Racing. He finished 10th last week. That 51 car may have some problems. And then there's our point leader right there, Dylan Young in the two. Dylan Young, he's trying to get behind Ryan Acosta. And oh man, these guys better be careful riding on this high side. And oh man, we're trying to have about a for third now. Jared Wakefield and Steven Gonzalez, he's taking it. Let's ride on board with the eight. Jared Wakefield in the boat wise number eight. He's trying to catch up to the combos 38 of Ralph Green. Combos made with real cheese. Aaron Williams, he's got uh, he kind of has.
has a two card gap over that um over both of these guys as Jared Wayfield he's not looking to the inside of the 38. Aaron Williams starting on the pole and he has not looked bad but he's got the uh number eight trying to close up behind him. And here comes Jake Rogers in the 91. Let me tell you something, Jake Rogers he's he's been running pretty consistently in that number 91 Mopar Dodge Charger. I'm trying to keep Dodge alive here and. Here comes the six of William Duggan. He said he loved the paint scheme on his six, so he's gonna keep it for a little while before he goes to Ford Eco Boost or back to the um or back to AAA. Here comes Barney War, who um who wrecked at the end of the race last week. Here comes Danny Wells. Oh man, he started. Oh, oh, we got trouble in the back. I saw a car upside down. Who is it? Oh, it's Cole Daly. Whoa, whoa, caution is out. Caution is out. It's Cole Daly. It's flipped upside down. Oh no, Brian LaFleur smoking. And leading to the line is Aaron Williams. He will lead them to the line as we have our first caution. Cole Daly is upside down and Brian LaFleur Jr. of Twin X Racing has blown up. Well, we're going to have to take a look and see what happened here. But that 77 car from Penske's destroyed. Oh man, we got to take a look and see what happened here. But Brian, he's done for today. Let's see what happened to the 77. Oh, but wait. Before we do, I forgot. Are these guys coming down for pit stops? Yes, they are. They're coming down for pit stops. Who's gonna... Is anybody staying out? I'm trying to see. Nope, no one. Nope, no one appears to be staying out. Trying to find the best angle. Cars coming out. Um, they don't get measured um, at the white line. They get mad. They get measured at that yellow line. So let's see who's gonna benefit. Is it gonna be gas and go? Two tires, four tires. We'll see. You no know, man, someone's already out. I think that's Jake Rogers. Yep, it's Jake Rogers. Jake Rogers will be the new leader, followed by Ralph Green and Sean Henley. Oh, Sean Henley must take two, 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 two tires. And then followed by Aaron Williams and Jared Wakefield. That'll be your top five. Now let's take a look and see what happened to the 77. And here's having to bring out our first car. Look how close they're running three wide with Jacob Bell and Christopher Martin. And oh man, all three of these cars actually got hooked together. But they managed to keep it going. But I think Cole Daly, um, he came back up onto the red track right in front of uh, Brian LaFleur Jr. Yep, that's exactly what happened. Both cars, they just came up hard into the safer barrier. And and oh man, Cole Daly, he just, he just grinded upside down for a long time. And oh my gosh, you really got to... That's really a scary moment when you're going that far. And he's going 70 miles an hour upside down. Just a scary situation for that 77 car. He's already been taken to the infield care center. I'll have an update on his condition in a moment. But man, that 77 car is kaput. We're going to have to uh, go to the cockpit view of that 77 to see what he saw. Because that is scary. Okay, here we are with the cop pick of Paul Daly. See, they try to manage to keep it going, but the 77, he just came back up onto the racetrack right in front of Brian LaFleur, and oh man, he just scraped that far a long time. The hood camera was destroyed after he flipped over. Just look at those showers of sparks. That's a scary situation. Couldn't get a hood camera because the hood camera was destroyed after he flipped. So that was the best angle we could get it from. But a really scary situation for the 77. Let's ride on board with Brian LaFleur and see what he saw. And here we are riding on board with Brian LaFleur Jr. Paul Dallas was actually right under him. And there's a contact with Jacob Bell and Christopher Martin. And then there's Paul Daly coming back up onto the race track. And oh man, that's just insane. There's a 77 back there on his roof as Brian LaFleur Jr. is smoking. Not 
a good day for Twin X Racing. And here we are back at Las Vegas getting ready for the restart. Cole Daly is out and it turns out Brian LaFleur Jr. broke his ignition so he's done for tonight. Time for a top 10 rundown. Jake Rogers, Ralph Green, Sean Henley, Aaron Williams, Jared Wakefield, William Duncan, hometown hero Nathan Duanis, Steven Gonzalez, Danny Wells, and Matthew Daly. That is your top 10. The pace car has already left the track and Ralph Green is going to lead these guys back off. Green flag is back out at Vegas. And old man already looking to the inside. Sean Henley trying to avenge his, his fallen teammate Brian LaFleur Jr. for Twin X Racing. He's trying to go for, well, he's already had second, but he's trying to go for the lead. He's trying to take it away from Jake Rogers. And old man almost three wide back here, but Aaron Williams, he pulls out in front of Jared Wakefield. And Sean Henley, he's taking the lead from Jake Rogers. No man, but Aaron Williams, he's going to try to bounce back. Remember, he's one of the first guys to pit, but he lost the lead. And he's already trying to take the lead back in that 48 car, but he's got the eight right behind him. And Sean Henley and Jay Rogers, they, they, they both go to the high side. And old man, Trent Dunham, he's scraping the wall back there. Oh boy, that's not good for the one car. He just got passed by last week's winner, Ryan Cooper. He's sponsoring Tornadoes this week as they're going three wide up here. And old man, now eyes on the Jones, he scraped the wall in this 11 car. See, once you, uh, once you start scraping that wall, you're going to drop back. Here comes two good friends trying to drive together, Joseph Lombard and Alex Drayton. As we head back to the front, the leader now, oh, oh man, the leader is Aaron Williams again. He just forced Jared Wakefield on the high side, and oh man, he just, oh man, he just slammed the door on Sean Henley. Uh-oh, I don't think Sean Henley liked that. And Sean Henley, he's trying to go to the inside to take away second. But old man, Jack Wayfield, he's trying to get a good run off the outside line in that number eight car. And Sean Henley has no choice but to get back in line. We're trying to have a battle for fourth now. Jake Rogers and Ralph Green. And here comes um, the other Budweiser car, Danny Wells. He's trying to get into the top five. And old man, Ben Ward, he almost swept the wall and hit his brother Barney in the 88. And old man, look at the Acasas side by side. John Acasa and Ryan. They're both trying to run together. As Aaron Williams, he's still trying to hang on to that lead as best as he can. Next time out, we have 11 laps to go, but Jared Wakefield, he is not giving up. Let's go to the rear camera of Aaron Williams. He just has a bumper full of that number eight. Oh, just look at the eyes of Jared Wakefield. He wants to try to get up there and get a win. And oh man, he forces Aaron Williams on the high side. But he just doesn't have the speed to get under him. Sean Hill is trying to come back behind Jared Wakefield. Next time by, we have 10 laps to go. 10 laps to go this time by now. Aaron Wells, he, he has about uh, three car lengths over Jared Wakefield. Sean Henley's back here. Then followed by Ralph Green. And we're trying to have a battle for, well, well no we're not. Fifth is Jake Rogers. Sixth is Danny Wells. We're trying to have a battle for seventh between John Acosta and Steven Gonzalez. Ninth now is our Daytona 500 winner, Eric Burton. And rounding out the top 10 is Barney Ward in that Dodd Mountain, Mountain Dew scheme. And old man, Eric Burton, he forces Steven Gonzalez on the high side as he gets into the top 10. And back there, we got a car off the pace. Oh, we got trouble! Oh, we got trouble in the back! Trent Dunham got turned! Oh, Trent Dunham gets turned in the back stretch. And there's no caution. Oh, boy. That's not what Trent wanted. He gets turned in the back stretch, but we're still going green. But he's going to be off the pace now. It's Aaron Williams is still the race leader. And, oh, man, Red Bell, she's got some damage. Why wow, the whole Dunham family's back here. Trent Dunham, Red Bell, and Zohar is back here. Wow, not a good day for, for these three. Now, I think Trent Dunham is going to be a benefactor for these guys. I don't know. His teammate's running in second still. He's still trying to catch that 48 car. But that 48 car is fast. 
Sean Hill is all by himself in third. Ralph Green fourth. And old man Danny Wells, he tried to get fifth from Jake Rogers, and he's got the help of John of John Acosta. Oh man, careful guys, they're trying to make it three wide. Oh man, but Jake Rogers, he he tried to get around off of the outside, and that's gonna open the door for John Acosta. Oh man, pit stops! Oh, pit stops are striking again, and the leaders are pitting. Oh, we got trouble! Oh man, Joseph Lombard, Eric Button. Oh man, Scott Bell. Oh no, Tim Fox is upside down, and his teammate Christopher Martin. Oh man, guys are taking pit stops, and the caution is out. Oh boy, this is gonna. Oh man, this is gonna be something. I don't know who the leader is right now. The ticker says the leader is Danny Wells. The leader is Danny Wells, and he's gonna come down pit road. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes. These four cars are going to come down pit road. Danny Will, Steven Gonzalez, and and um, Alex Drayton. But oh man, Jacob Bell, he's staying out. Oh my gosh. Well, while I try to, while I try to catch up with things, we got to check and see what brought out our caution. Because our new leader right now is Jacob Bell. Okay, here's what happened that tr to Trent Dunham that did not bring out the caution. Trent Dunham, he um he hits the wall, but then he gets turned by Cody Lamas, and then he got into the 47 of, of Jason Posadas. But I guess since he was way down under the apron and he turned around on the spot and kept going, that did not bring out the caution. But man, a tough break for that number one um car from Earnhardt Ganassi Racing. He started second. He keeps it going and. And that did not bring out our caution. Now something happened on the front stretch that brought it out while cars were taking pit stops. Now here's what happened to, that brought out the caution. Tim Fogel, who was going too fast, he, he, he gets a little bit hooked by Steven Gonzalez. And then that makes Tim Fogel turn his own teammate. The points leader, Dylan Posty, had nowhere to go. Christopher Martin tried to go outside to avoid it, but he was just stuck in the middle of it as well. Then Jacob Bell, he he hits the 27, and then that makes the 27 flip over. Last week at Phoenix, Jacob Bell and Tim Fogel uh, failed. Scott Bell and, and uh, Tim Fogel got together. But, oh, man. Christopher Martin, he spun out right in front of the points leader, Dylan Young. He's got some side damage. Joseph Lombard got held up. Eric Burton spun out, but I think he's all right. And then Jake uh, fail. Scott Bell. I need to remember their names. That's what happened to him. Then something something happened to um, the 12 car. Because before we went to break, the 12 car was smoking. He's not smoking right now. He took his pit stop. Something happened to Andrew Sidney. I think he hit somebody. Let's see. He's leaving his pit box. Oh, oh, he just, oh, he just blew up. He blew up right. He blew up right there. Oh man, that's a tough break for the twelve. One of the, uh, one of his pit crews must have messed up or something because after he led pit road, he blew up. So the twelve is not going to be able to finish this race. That's going to be a tough break for Penske once again. And oh man, we got some breaking news before we go back to break. Leaving out of the pit stop, I guess, I guess, uh, Trent Dunham, he didn't see Jake Rogers, uh, coming out. And he just got hooked by him. Trent Dunham slams into the wall and he almost got into his teammate. And Jake Rogers, he was running in third. He was running in third and he spins out right in front of the pack. And look who hits him. The 38 of Ralph Green. Oh man. Then Ben Ward, he slams hard into the back of the 38. But, oh, man, both Jake Rogers and Ralph Green, they were running, they were both running in the top five, but their days are going to end early. As we see Jack Richards, he also got a little hit on Ralph Green. And, oh, man, that is just a complete shame. Then William Duncan, he also gets another hit. He got turned around by... His teammate and the cars are just bunching up right there. There's Richard Johnson, Barney Ward, and there's uh, Cody Lamas, Dylan Poteet, and Nathan Duanis.
But, oh, man, you really got to feel for Ralph Green and Jake Rogers. They ran in the top five all day. Then something like this happens. I don't know what Trent Dunham was doing, but he's going to have some explaining to do. Let's go back to live action. Here we are back at Las Vegas with one, with one left to go on the restart. Both Jacob Bell and Lyndon Wright had to pit, so they surrendered first and second. And our new leader right now is Danny Wells, as we're about to get, as we're going to go under a green white checker. There's Tim Fagel in the 27. And the check on the car is out of the race. Let's see. Red Bell is out. Andrew Sidney is out. Jack Richards is out. Ralph Green is out. Jake Rogers is out. Ben Ward is out. And Scott Bell is out. Both Trent Dillon and Tim Fagel, they're a lap down. And it's time for our new top 10 rundown. Danny Wells is the leader, followed by Steven Gonzalez, Aaron Williams, Sean Henley, Alex Drayton. He's in the top five now. Where did he come from? Then it's Jared Wakefield, John Acosta, the points leader, Dylan Young, ninth is Seth Cole, and rounding out the top ten is Joseph Lombard. As the pace car is going back to pit road, we're having ourselves a green-white checker here at Vegas. And we're having the green flag, and Danny Wells, he got a rocket start. He got a rocket start in that 29 car, but he's probably going to have to deal with his good friend, Aaron Williams. But, uh, or maybe not. Here comes uh, Sean Henley. He, he just took away third, and he's bringing Jared Wayfield along with him. Oh, man, I think that 48 car is slow, but the more they go side by side, the more that's going to open the door for Danny. And, oh, man, they're trying to go three wide for second. Budweiser, they're trying to run first and second. But it's all, all about the leader. Oh, man, Stephen Gonzalez slammed him to the wall. And we're having the white flag. The final lap. And, oh, man, Kasha's out. The race is over. Yes, the race is over. And Danny Wells just won this race. What happened? Oh, Ryan Cooper. Oh, and, oh, man, Justin Lombard had to pit. And Eric Burton. Oh, no, the points leader, Dylan, Dylan Young. And I think Barney Ward, too. Oh, my gosh. I don't know what happened. I think something happened in turns one and two. But oh man, that is a real. Oh no, it. Oh no, it happened in turns three and four. But oh man, and well, there's no, no real re reason to pit now. He went. He went through season one with no wins, but tonight, coming out of turn number four and taking the checkered flag under caution, catching his first second cup victory is Danny Wells. He finally does it. Danny Wells captures his first win ever in the NASCAR Sega Cup. Last year, he drove for Front Row Motorsports, and this year, he's with Richard Childress Racing, and he wins in the 29 car. Second place is Sean Henley. Third place is Jared Wakefield. Fourth is Alex Drayton. How about that? Fifth is Aaron Williams. Sixth is John Acosta. Seventh is Jay Wakefield. Where'd he come from? Eighth is Seth Cole. Ninth is Charles Jackson. And rounding out the top ten is Matthew Daly. Oh, man, I think that's his third straight top ten this, this season. Before we show our finishing results, let's see what happened to, to bring out the caution at the end of this race. And here is what, and here's the caution at the end of the race. Just going into turn number three, I guess um, Cody Lamas, his car got loose and he just slid up the racetrack right into the left rear quarter panel of the 88. And then he gets loose along with the 39 of Ryan Cooper. And oh man, both cars just just uh, slammed hard into the safer barrier. And oh man, Alexander Jones, he barely misses the 88. That was That was really close. Wow, just a two-car spin in the back. Oh, Tim Feigl? Whoa, okay, that was close. Okay, that's all that happened. And here is our winner after he crosses the line. Danny Wells in the number 29. Okay, here is our finishing results. I've already announced the top 10. William Duncan, Richard Johnson, Ryan Acosta, Cody Lamas, and the hometown hero Nathan Duane ends up with a top 15. He's got to feel pretty good about that. Then Dylan Polti, Steven Gonzalez, Sam Young, 
Alexander Jones, and Christopher Martin. That rounds out the top 20. Then followed by Jacob Bell, Lyndon Wright, Callum Wells, Alex Ferranti, and Barney Ward. That's the top 25. Then it's Ryan Cooper and Joseph Lombard. Those were the last cars on the lead lap. Then Jason Posada, Zaha Mana, Dylan Young, Eric Burton, and Trent Dunham, and Tim Figo. They were all a lap down. Then from 34th on down to 42nd, Scott Bell, Ben Ward, Jake Rogers, and Ralph Green. You really got a feel for them. They ran in the top five all day, had very strong cars, but then they both wrecked under caution. Thanks to Trent Dunham. He's going to have some explaining to do about that. Then Jack Richards, Andrew Sidney, Red Bell, Brian LaFleur Jr., and Cole Daly. That is your field. But congratulations one more time for Danny Wells for finally capturing his first win ever in the NASCAR Sega Cup.